Hunter 25 Park Road was designed in the late 1960s by architects Farrell Grimshaw Partnership for the Mercury Housing Society. Both Sir Terry Farrell and Sir Nicholas Grimshaw were members of the society and lived in the block. It was their second scheme and when listed as a Grade 2 building in 2001 was commended for pioneering British high-tech architecture. Recognised as one of London's most significant modern apartment buildings, the pioneering design of the Park Road Apartments was the first residential project in the UK with a central core. They decided to build the residential project as place to live for them and 40 friends who were members of co-ownership group the Mercury Housing Society. Even politically, this Grade 2 listed building broke new ground. It was the first time a housing association had won permission to build flats in central London and especially on a desirable Regent's Park site. Borrowing from principles of commercial floor plans with lifts, stairs and bathrooms at the centre, the open plan living spaces offered unprecedented flexibility for owners with more than 70 variations of plan possible for the 40 flats and penthouses. Most internal walls are non-load-bearing which allows flats to be combined as larger units. This shows the benefits of designing residential accommodation on the same principles as commercial offices where habitable space is freed by concentrating services in a central core. The default configuration consists of two one-bedroom flats and two two-bedroom flats, as well as four duplex penthouse flats and caretaker's flat, making 41 in all on 11 floors. But each level was designed so that it could be split into as many as 14 bed sits or turned into one large flat. The concrete frame was poured in situ, with each floor held apart by slim columns arranged around the edges of the floor plates. The interiors were deliberately kept simple to give the maximum space for the minimum money. The floor was left as a simple concrete screed without skirtings. Freestanding columns, continuous perimeter heating and regularly spaced electrical sockets encourage maximum flexibility with 7-inch partitions of steel and fiberglass quilting. The architectural effect is of this minimalism is of a finely proportioned, architecturally sensitive sense of space. Grimshaw and Farrell sourced the windows from a manufacturer who usually made them for buses. The double glazed aluminium framed windows are bolted edge to edge and continue around the corners. Clad in corrugated anodized aluminium with ribbon windows, the lightweight construction is distinctive for its curved corners, which give each flat a continuous, unfettered panoramic view. The architects even adhered to, to the Parker Morris Committee's space standards from a seminal housing report that used anthropological data to determine the type of furnishings needed for a home, how much room is needed to move around it and undertake normal domestic activities. The high-rise block was designed to give maximum flexibility and longevity for as little money as possible. This arrangement for procurement allowed owners to avoid developer costs, giving approximately 50% cost savings on the market price. Much loved by residents, Sir Nicholas Grimshaw himself made it his family's home for six years. Park Road is in the vanguard of an alternative approach to flexibility, services and new technology, which was a fascination to both partners and which went on to become known as high tech the British movement which has earned international renown. It was the pair's first major new building, combining the interest of a building type which was still novel with a minimal approach to architecture that manifested itself in simple, cheap finishes and crisp proportions. Grimshaw went on to tell the occupants, we've stripped the thing to the bone, now it's over to you.